name is Rachel Yoka. I'm a vice president with Timothy Haas and Associates. I've been with the company about 10 years now. Um, we are based in Philadelphia, out in the suburbs, but we have offices in Miami, Atlanta, New Brunswick. We focus on parking, parking planning, parking design, parking restoration, the entire life cycle. Um, but our approach is to integrate parking with an additional uses so that we can integrate parking as a people place, not just a place for cars. One of our successful design projects that I would highlight uh, is the Casino Reinvestment Development Authority's new WAVE parking structure. Um, it's made quite a splash in Atlantic City when you come off the expressway and you drive down. It's this beautiful facility with an LED billboard and just gorgeous lighting and it fits in really nicely with the character of Atlantic City. Um, but what's special about the project, it's 1180 spaces. What's most special about the project is it's urban infill. It works in really nicely with the walk and the casinos and the other sort of nightlife and destinations in Atlantic City, but it provides essential infrastructure for future growth in the city. So it's not just about the casinos and it's not just about a destination, it's about a place where people actually live and walk around. What's interesting about the facility is it includes a full photovoltaic array on the roof that plugs into the utility authority. So the facility is aiming for net zero energy use. Um, so it's a pretty interesting project and it gains a lot of visibility both for CRDA as well as the parking industry because it's providing solar energy. It features EV charging stations for electric vehicles. It's very progressive in its design. Um, and it's been featured by the National Parking Association as the Innovative Facility of the Year, as well as the Mid-Atlantic Real Estate Journal. Another project that I would highlight is the Centennial District Transportation Center at the Philadelphia Zoo. Um, anybody who's a parent who's been going to the zoo for years uh, remembers how much the parking is a crunch. It's very difficult to find parking. You'd end up walking from a half a mile away, you know, on busy city streets, things of that nature. The Philadelphia Zoo recognized that, but they're also very landlocked as an institution. So they took the one um, larger parking lot that they had right off the expressway and they're placing a new intermodal transportation center there to provide 700 additional spaces for a total of 1,000 spaces there to serve the zoo. Um, one of the interesting features there is that we're including a walkable ramp for parents with strollers and multiple children so that you don't have to take the elevator, you can kind of shimmy down on your way to the zoo. Um, it also includes a number of sustainable design features, EV charging stations, energy efficient lighting, things that make good business sense as well as sustainability sense for the zoo. So we're excited about the opening of that this year. Um, the project has achieved a lot of local press um, and many teaming partners in the region like Pannoni Associates are a part of the project. So we're very proud to be a part of that project as well. 1111 Lincoln Road is um, one of the most famous garages in the world at this point. Um, it's designed by a world-renowned architect and Tim Haas served as a parking consultant on the project. Um, and we're very excited to have been a part of it. If it's not familiar to you, it almost looks like a deck of cards and it sits right in Miami Beach on Collins Avenue. It is um, really a place for people. It's become an icon, not only for architecture, but also for Miami Beach. Um, it includes residential, a residential penthouse at the top level. It includes retail space on one of the higher levels of the garage, which is fairly unusual to be, include retail space not at ground level, although it also has that. So Miami Beach has a lot of progressive architecture, and this project was recognized by the Florida architectural community as one of the top 100 buildings down there. Um, but it really serves as a gateway to Miami Beach and the beautiful promenade that features all that very famous space um, that, the, that the community is known for. So we're excited to have been a part of that project too. People often ask me what do you see as coming up and coming in parking and what are the trends in parking and where, where is that going? It's gotten more complicated like a lot of other things. Parking is integrated with transportation. It's integrated with residential and housing. Often parking is wrapped on three sides so it's difficult to locate the parking. Um, in a lot of ways, it's just becoming more integrated with a mix of uses. What we see now is retail at grade, really beautiful facilities that incorporate architecture and that fit into the fabric of the community. 